Here she is, Gaster's little quirky sister, sitting on the shelf with her mom. And of course, I want to show action and Murphy's Law says, no action when you plan a video. But yeah, she and Gaston, Gaster interact almost as much as the, um, let's see, he came up there to be, get in the picture. He's such a ham bone. And here comes little sister. The three of them act, interact pretty equally. He does seem to have a preference for the little silver lining girl. But um, they're all equally sweet, equally playful, and equally loving. She's just really different. I've never had, in 35 years of breeding, a kitten marked like her and odd-eyed. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a kitten mark like her, but the fact that she's odd-eyed too is just really different. She's truly unique in the in the world and in my 35 years of breeding. Well, I guess I caught them in a, a downtime moment. They're just being cuddly with mom right now. They do um, <laughs> they do play all three of them pretty much as well. Like I said, Gaster has a slight preference for silver lining. And the one video I took, he was really, really playing with her. But uh, I think he would be equally bonded to his little quirky sister. <laughs> what is she doing? They like to get up high. So you're going to get on top of your mother. That's the highest you can get in this cleaning cage. I still have them in the cleaning cage until um, the end of this week when they get their first injectable vaccine. And then I'm going to let them run. I have a couple of kittens that are going to Boston on Thursday. So I'm going to, after they have their vaccine, I'm going to let them be out with the group. Yes, you're cleaning your face, little silver girl. She's like, yeah, well, I fooled you. You thought I was a silver tabby, and I was just a smoke. I guess they're not going to move today. That's one of those videos where we're going to all just stand here and be very pretty and not uh, show you how fun we are. But you'll find out when you get them. They're very playful and they're very cuddly they're very sweet come here sweetie pie he's like oh they've got that light on it's making you your eye look like an evil devil eye she's like okay okay yeah she says i'm sweet actually you ask about shedding and i can tell you the long hairs in this breed shed less than short hairs of normal breeds. Um, there, there might be a little bit of shedding. I mean, I don't. I think anything that's alive is going to shed a little bit. But honestly, uh, the bobtail short hairs are relatively no shedding or very, very low shedding, and the long hairs are just about the same. They may shed a little bit more than the short hairs, but it still would be less than what a regular short-haired cat would shed. The nice thing about the long hairs, their, their coat is super soft. It's really not long hair. It's kind of a medium, medium to long coat. Not anything like Persian or Maine Coon, where you have coat that mats and needs regular grooming. They're, um, as adults, they have a, a very silky coat that lies close to the body. The only way you can really tell that they're long hairs is if you backhand the coat. Because if you look at them from the front, they look like short hairs because their hair lies close to their body. They're not fluffy cats. They're not supposed to be fluffy cats. As kittens, they look fluffy. But when they get their adult coat in, they definitely have silky coats that lie close to their body that require no ma maintenance and are really um, relatively non-shedding or very low shedding. You guys are just really boring today. Who would believe that you're bobtails? 
I have to say, though, I, my experience has been that the long hairs tend to be a little more laid back than the short hairs. The short hairs can be really busy and active and athletes. Um, the long hairs tend to be just a little bit less busy and a little, I don't know, just seem a little sweeter and a little more laid back. But I've had uh, many homes where they've gotten a long hair and a short hair and it's worked out really well getting um, a long hair. I mean, there doesn't seem to be any difference. They interact as well as if you had two short hairs. The important thing is that the best interaction is between two boys. Next best, very close to uh, as good, is a uh, girl and boy. And the only thing that sometimes doesn't work as well as two girls, but if you get two girl kittens or two sisters or two kittens that are close in age, two girls works out too. Will you get out of the way? You're being a ham bone now. Will you let them see the other kittens that aren't moving? God, these look like something you put on the shelf or something you put in the window. You're supposed to be bobtails. You're supposed to be active and busy. I just hit them at the wrong time. I wanted to get this video off to you as soon as possible. She's a girl. She's so cute. Come here. She's like, yeah, I'm just as easy going as Gaster. I'm a sweet lover. I'm a lover. And I've got a face that nobody has had in 35 years. 1,500 cats. I am truly unique in the world. Okay, well, I know it's a boring video, but uh, hopefully it answers some of your questions, and I will answer the rest in an email to you. Look up here. Look up here. Well, somebody wake up and smell the coffee. There's Gaster. He's like, yeah, he's, I like all my sisters. I like both of them. Yeah, there have been times when he's been just as interactive with this girl, but the day I took the video, he was favoring silver lining there. Okay, well, this nice little happy family will let you back to your morning snooze. Say goodbye.